uh, formerly of Joe Hurst Jiu-Jitsu, and right now what we're going to go over is a uh, knee bar out of half court. So, uh, I'm in half court, I got my weight against him. What I need to do first, secure his hips, make sure he can't hip out, shrimp on me, and get away from my body. So I want him in tight. Alright, now that he's in tight, I'm going to use my vision, and I'm not going to make it obvious so he sees that I'm planning to attack his leg. But I'm here tight. What I want to make sure is that this foot isn't over top of the one I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack the leg that's the same side. So, given the fact that he's this way, he's not blocking his foot for me. So now, I'm going to bring my left hand over top of his neck, just give him a little pressure. This pressure is going to make him want to push off of me. As he pushes off of me, I'm going to disengage from his body completely. I'm going to take my left knee, and I'm going to ride it. The curve of his hip, all the way down, and at the same time, I'm diving for this leg. So as my knee comes across, uh, touches the mat, I want to make sure my hips are under the knee completely, and I want to be here. So as I'm here, as I fall, I want to have his knee completely extended, and it's just like an arm bar from here. I'm going to squeeze my knees together and press my hips forward. I'm going to disengage, dive for the leg, bring the knee over. Knee bar out of half guard. It's a pretty high percentage. Uh, probably not going to hit it on brown belt, black belts, most purple belts. But, uh, Blue belt, white belt, in tournaments when things are in the scramble, it's really hard to see that coming. Uh, so it does you a, it's gonna do you a lot of good favors, and uh, it's going to be beneficial to your game.